Champion Chow here again with more unboxing because we got more parts. Now, these are actually for two cars. So we're going to show you what we have here because we got a couple more DIYs coming very soon. But we want to give you guys a heads up of what we got so you guys can expect what DIYs are actually coming to Pinchiao's garage. And uh, we're going to show you, all right? So, first set, number one here. And this is kind of a minuscule or tiny DIY, but this is an important DIY because a lot of people keep neglecting this part. Uh, and this is your accessory belt tensioner. And why do I say people neglect it? It's because no one ever replaces it until it's too... Uh, too far along so we got a brand new tensioner with pulley uh, these guys are easy to install I mean legitimately three bolts and pull the uh, pull the belt off I mean pretty straightforward but you'd be surprised how vital this one part is to your car especially for your uh, alternator power steering pump and AC pump this all runs off of this uh, this is one thing that keeps the belt nice and tight so we're going to have a DIY for that soon. Uh, we'll show you how to route it and install it, you know, correctly with torch specification. So that's a good one. This is what we're doing on Ian's Red Jetta. So that's one DIY right there. And then again, these are going to be quickies, things that, you know, you guys can, we can do in under five minutes. This is a little bit more thorough DIY. Now these are the uh, brake cables. Uh, Ian's Red Jetta um, has having issues where the cable isn't, doing his job anymore and this is again a common common problem with 20 year old cars aka mark 4 jettas so we ordered brand new handbrake cables for the left and right side you always want to replace these in pairs because they stretch but they don't stretch equally sometimes one side gets more stretch than the other so not knowing the actual uh, amount of stretching that's been done you're going to order the left and right now the downside is there's two different sizes so I ordered the shortest size first and if this doesn't fit correctly, they already have the other two sizes in stock for me. So uh, if they don't fit, we'll just send them back and swap them out to the correct size. Um, but just for you guys uh, to, to know, this is the part number right here, C9875. And these are from AutoZone. Um, and C9875, they're identical for the left and right side. So good there. Again, another DIY, we'll show you guys how to remove the handbrake cable fat from the factory uh, and then on the calipers as well. Now, uh, what do we got here? Hub assembly. Let's see what do we got. All right, so these are rear Mark IV bearings. Now, we're going to have a full DIY because this is going to go hand in hand with our... Um, DIY for the um, the fabulous uh, manufacturing drop plates that they offer. So these are going to go with that DIY because we're, we're going to have to remove these to install the new drop plates. So we're going to have a DIY on how to remove these, install them, and put your drop plates on as well. Uh, so awesome, awesome. Uh, there's a I have an older video from for IDF drop plates and how to prevent you removing this entirely. Uh, you can use that DIY for this process, but we're going to do it 100% proper by putting new rear uh, wheel bearings with hubs. It's just smart. Smart money, put it that way. So that's what this box and this box consist of. So DL512012. These are the rear hub bearings for a Mark IV from AutoZone. Now we bought some premium hub bearings. Same thing. Uh, just a little bit higher end product from Moog. Uh, we wanted to do both because we wanted to see the differences between them. Uh, I don't know if there is a drastic difference between the quality of Moog and Duralast. Obviously Chinese brand versus you know a good quality brand. But we didn't we did in fact buy both. And we do this because again we want to try them out and see the differences between uh, ease of installation and actual product quality. So uh, we're going to have a DIY for this as well. Uh, just a separate um, DIY just for bearing installs on a Mark IV. Uh, this will be on our Patreon build, uh, the Jetta Mark IV VR6 build that we're actually doing right now. So this is going to get brand new front and rear wheel bearing. So good stuff, good stuff. So 
So the part number for these are 512012. Uh, again, these are for Moog, not the Duralast brand. And then last but not least, uh, DL510003. These are wheel bearings. These are for the front of the car. Um, pretty much all Mark IVs use this exact same wheel bearing. Um, I think Mark IV 2.0s don't use it, but I could be very wrong. But pretty straightforward, very, very um, good product. Uh, I've been using Duralast wheel bearings for years, and I've actually been very, very, very happy with their products for wheel bearings. Uh, right now, these are actually on my Mark IV uh, Filbert, and I love them. They actually work really well. I get Typically, I get about two to three years out of them. Um, because of the, I have a little bit of camber and, uh, I have, uh, adapters on my, uh, my hub. So they do put a little bit of strain on here since all the weight is not on the, uh, bearing. It's more like kind of off of it. So these tend not to, uh, last as long. So, but I've been very, very satisfied. I actually got to re replace my front wheel bearing soon on my car, but we're replacing the front wheel bearings on the Jetta because we don't know the age of the wheel bearings on our Jetta. Uh, Patreon build so you know just for proper uh, build products and doing things right uh, and making sure we don't leave uh, no un uh, no stone unturned we're gonna put new wheel bearings in it um, all these products we get from AutoZone and again we get brand name stuff and we also get Duralast or uh, AutoZone brand stuff don't get me wrong a lot of people do hate on AutoZone products um, Lately, I've been very, very satisfied with a lot of their craftsmanship and quality on some of their products. Um, but I do tend to fray away from certain products that they offer. Uh, wheel bearings and hubs, I've been very, very good from them, so I stick with them. Um, but when it comes to like a tensioner, um, I usually try to go with like URO, uh, Miley, um, Phoebe. Uh, those brands have been very, very successful and high quality. So. I tend to stick with those brands when it comes to very, very important mechanical aspects of our car. Same with sensors. I always stick with high-end brands or OEM. But when it comes to these guys, I've been very, very successful over the many, many years with their products. Uh, this is actually my first time using a Moog product. So I'm hoping that this is actually a very, very good product. Uh, Duralast cables for the um, handbrakes. I am very happy. All my mark, uh, all my cars that I've built, I build with these handbrakes. I'm very, very satisfied with this product. Uh, again, wheel bearings and hubs. I've been very satisfied with them as well. Uh, they give you a decent warranty. I believe they give you a two to three year warranty on these products. So if anything fails, they do swap them out for you. Um, besides that, though, this was a quick unboxing and giving you guys future content because again, without products, we can't make content. So. We got product, we're gonna make content, and we're gonna make a lot of content for you guys. We got uh, more DIYs coming, we got a rear sway bar, front sway bar coming, control arms, rear beam, uh, we got wheel bearings, wheel hubs, we got a tensioner, we got handbrakes. I mean, that's a decent amount of content, and we're gonna do it all here at Pinchal's Garage. So stay tuned, and thanks again for watching, and as always, we're gonna break, Fix and repeat because this is Pinchiao's Garage. Peace out everyone and have a wonderful day.